Hello and welcome to another episode of my F1 22 driver crew video today for the Canadian Grand Prix. Last time out we were in Baku for what turned out to be a very dramatic Grand Prix. We're hoping for a calmer weekend here and we need to get back on track after a poor Baku where we have put it on the first row alongside Charles Leclerc. Then it is Sainz and Perez, George and Lando. Ocon and Gasly, Tictum and Magnussen, Verstappen who was on pole alongside Alonso, then it's Piastri and Albon, Sonoda and Mick Schumacher, Stroll and Joe, and on the final row of the grid is Schwarzman and Nicholas Latifi. Here we go then, as the five red lights come on, can we win in Canada? It's lights out and away we go, and we've got a good start for once. But Leclerc comes across and covers off, and Sainz sends the dive bomb and pushes us wide and off the track. And we've gone into the side of Leclerc, Leclerc's off the track, we've got back on it. Our tyres are screaming now, if he's scramble away, George is now in the lead. With our P2, we've gone wheel to wheel with Gasly after we're trying to keep the car in a straight line. Drummer at the side there, Sainz trying to do the same thing again further on the track. Trying to send it up the inside, we stay ahead. We've got no grip though. These tyres are screaming at the start after that. We're pushing Gasly all the way to the outside. And then we've gone wide again, and we've still got no grip. And Gasly tried to get past us there around the outside, but we fend him off. He's going to the outside though, we do fend him into the hairpin. This is Lando and Perez going at it and Lando's got the exit at the inside but Perez is not done there as he pulls to the outside. And now going up towards the final chicane is Ephraim going to back out around the outside. Perez got the position. This is what it was from the club start then he got away well. He tried to go to the inside and then he just get punted. Off the track, not his fault at all. I I had nowhere to go, and the player was just an innocent bystander in that, and he has lost so so much time from pole to pretty much at the back. This is Sainz's point of view. Then he gets a good start. To be fair, there is a giant gap there. We're coming across, and then he turns into me. That gap's always closing. He has literally nowhere to go. I think he's trying to back out to be right at the end, but at that point it's too late. And surely that's got to be a penalty at least. He's wiped his teammate out of the race, and nearly wiped me out of the race. This is what it was like from George's point of view, and everyone just breezed out of his way like Moses there. As he goes from P4 to the lead of the Grand Prix with ease. This is Perez's point of view then. You see, Science there comes across and then he goes well to where we are. get sandwiched between George and the half spinning Ferrari of Science there. He has all gone on at turn one. Now Leclerc trying to get his way back through the field around the outside of Robert Sportsman there. He's had a good start getting past Lance Stroll and Mick Schumacher and now the free wide as he goes to the inside of of Stroll at back of the inside goes the Alfa Romeo and he gets through the middle of them but the Aston Martin is not giving up on the Ferrari the Ferrari may be in a different league to the Aston Martin but it's not going to stop him from keeping the Ferrari behind him for now as Lance Stroll but it's surely not going to be much longer before Leclerc really overtakes him. And of course it wouldn't be as on to lap 5. Round the outside at turn 1 he goes. That then goes to the inside for turn 2. And how's he got the exit? Can I see now this is a terrible camera angle. Up the inside into the second chicane. And Lance's defence has to give up there. Fortunately. But when, well, when we sort the tyre temperatures out, gone back into control, we were sticking with George. George started on the softs, and we were sticking with him. We were pulling away from those behind. And by the end of lap 8, halfway round, we have caught the back of George as his soft tyres start to switch off. 
and the medium start to be more superior. We send the dive bomb at the inside of George. Send him napping and into the lead of the Grand Prix. He won this race last year, of course, on the very final lap when we went wheel to wheel with Perez in the wet. Can we do the same this season as George pits at the end of the lap? We overtook him at the end of lap 8 on to the hard tyres to get him to the end of the Grand Prix. And McLaren also in, in the background there. We'll see how far back this drops him. But I think he's going to have some pace towards the end of the Grand Prix. He's actually gone into the mediums, in fact, not the hard tyres. He's come out in a little gap there, but there are a couple cars up the road from him. This is Lando coming out of the hairpin just behind Sergio Perez who he lost out to at the start and he's slowing down the Mercedes engine has gone pop again two races in a row for Lando Norris he retires with an engine blowout Truly magnificent drive then, and a great performance from the entire team to secure victory here in Canada. So, Natalie, what do you think helped them deliver this result? I'd say it was down once again to good, consistent driving, nailing the corners, working to the track conditions, and perfecting the team strategies. They got all those things right today, and the results speak for themselves. Come our winners now, a thrilling race and a tremendous effort by Ferrari. Their history is well known, so it's no surprise to fans the world over to see them come out on top once again. So that's not the way I wanted the Canadian Grand Prix to end after it was looking so good for us in the opening stages we are going to pit at the end of that lap the engine went pop. George didn't even get on the podium as well so his early lead didn't work out and starting on the softs didn't work out so that makes it even worse for the team as a whole because it could have possibly been a 1-2. After that we really need some magic to happen at Silverstone to get us back in this championship fight now. After a poor vacuum and a DNF here we are very far behind. We've also been jumped by Ferrari only on wins as we are level on points with the Italian team so going into Silverstone we need to sort that one out as well. I hope you enjoyed this video. Very very frustrating we run for a good result i'll see you at silverstone goodbye